Hey, hey there, it's me, your, your host, Critzy Bear. Welcome to the Dwarf Fortress again. Hello. Oh, uh oh, troglodytes interrupting things. Right, that was something I was gonna look at yesterday. Huh? Uh, what has been suspended? Uh, weapon traps and cage traps. Oh, god damn it. Why you gotta suspend things because you see creatures? God dang it. Uh, There's a weapon trap. Are you kidding me? Eh, whatever. Anyway, hey there, I'm Critzy Bear. Welcome back to Martyr's Helm, everybody. This is a... <coughs> this is a, a second Dwarf Fortress video this week. Isn't that cool? Because, uh, you know, it's been ages. It's, it's, it's been... It's been ages since I've actually poured time into Dwarf Fortress. And, um, people have been asking me to. Uh, to, you know, actually play Dwarf Fortress more often, so, yeah, sorry if you're not a fan of my Dwarf Fortress series, but, uh, understand that there are people out there who are not a fan of my Cataclysm series, so, yeah, I mean, not that anyone particularly cares, I'm like a third-rate YouTuber, not even third-rate, Jesus, uh, so, where, um, how many troglodytes are not caged? Three, four. Oh my god, there's a lot of caged troglodytes. See, I'm afraid to, like, order a genocide again. Not because it's it's morally wrong, but because... Uh, <sighs> they might go out of their way to uh, kill the troglodytes that are in my cages. And I'm not, I'm not sure how Dwarf Fortress would respond to that or not. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm reluctant. Um, right, there was also the stockpiles here, right? Yeah. I was gonna, uh... Fuck, I can't remember where they were supposed to be. There was a mechanism one, a furniture one, and then what was the other one? Oh, shoot. One for just bins, I think? Maybe? Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll see We'll see what I need at that date. Let's uh, make a couple holes here. So that, uh, you know, it looks like natural cave work or something. There, and a little tunnel. And actually, I think I'll just make it right here. I was thinking of making it down at the bottom there. I mean, I guess I can still. Doop, 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 there, I've been complimented on, on my, on my, uh, design ideas here, <laughs> uh, somebody likes how I make them look like the natural caves, or something, I just woke up by the way, good morning, yeah, I mean, if you're here at this point, and there's no sense hiding that I'm pretty boring, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, there we go. That'll be, uh, furniture, I guess. And, right, right, this one was the bins one, right? This one right here. No, not bins, um, this one was the mechanism one. So that's furniture, right? Okay, um, I think right there we'll do. And down to there. Okay, so now I just need to move the little, uh, edge pieces. And there. Oh, as well uh, move where it's touching the other stockpile. There. <coughs> All right. Now, um, this doesn't accept artifacts, and it only accepts mechanisms. There they are. And uh, takes from that stockpile. There we go. That should clear up a little space in my big stockpile. Well, not as much as I thought it would. More uh, mechanisms. Mechanisms, uh, 15. Uh, I wish I could, uh, set a quality standard. Actually, I can! Right, yes, because the only thing that's made at, uh, mechanics workshops is mechanisms and traction benches. So, I could, um, 
Yeah, increase the minimum skill level. Minimum skill level is competent. I hope we have some competent mechanics. Uh, profile. Or profile. Minimum is competent. There we go. And I think that's the only two. Do we have any competent mechanics? Do we have any mechanics, period? Yes, we have one mechanic. Um, and his skill level is... Professional. All right, so he's he's overqualified for that. Well, not overqualified, but you know he 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 oversteps the qualifications. Whatever. What I'm trying to say is is that he 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 meets meets my standards. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Oh, remove this. Remove the excess ramps. I think that would be it. Yeah, those ones. Sure. I guess uh, remove this one too. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, only one miner is working. But... What? Are you mind mandating things again? What do you need now, Mayor? Gauntlets. God damn it. Alright. Um, I guess make some copper gauntlets. Uh, copper gauntlets. I guess I could start making my steel gauntlets. I don't actually know how much steel I have, though. Fuck. Um, stocks would be on the second page, right? Boop. Bars. Uh, ooh, I only have nine, and a pair of gauntlets takes two ingots, right? So would, I would need, like, 20 bars, I think. Is there anything else that I could use instead? Um... Ah, uh, copper. That's pretty much it. All right. They're practice gauntlets. Uh, copper <coughs> gauntlets. There we go. Just three. Yeah. I mean, no, no harm in practice. It's just that the fuel is not a renewable resource here. Speaking of fuel, we need to chop down more trees down here. Come on, where's the basement? I still have yet to set up hotkeys for this. Okay, um, it's lots of water trees. Seems like maybe I've pretty much clear-cut this entire floor other than tiny trees and ones in the water. Oh, chop down trees, Jesus. All right, there's two, um, and they aren't Sorry, I forget what I was, like, literally in the middle of saying. I had to go AFK for a bit. But I left the game running, and I, I ordered a couple more trees to be chopped down. I mean, no real progress has been made. Just, you know, yeah. Okay, how's the dungeon coming? Um, come on, come on. Right, 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 right. A uh, big, uh, big thing would be figuring out why this will not link a building to trigger. Yeah, like uh, these doors, they aren't locked. They aren't locked. Um, it's a clear path to the dungeon. Um, people have made many traps there before. So why exactly will they not link these doors? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So I gotta check, uh, stop removal, uh, okay, I had to check if that pressure plate was, uh, connected to the bridge, maybe, and that's why it won't let me, um, let me actually, bridge, uh, link to bridge, yeah, I can link it to the bridge now, whatever, maybe you can only link one at a time, I don't know, alright, so, whatever,
I don't even, I don't, I don't claim to understand Dwarf Fortress. Oh, I should put a route to the, I should put a route to the way out of this chamber through here. Because as it is now, if the Drunian pit opens up, then the humans have no way to get through, and thus uh, our fun is spoiled, or we have to repeatedly turn on and off the gates. There, so just a little crack in the wall. Yeah. Then that won't compromise security, will it? I can just make a pet passable door. Yeah. I mean, a pet unpassable door. So that the Drunians won't go and try to chase the humans out there. <coughs> and the humans shouldn't have any reason to go in there. But I'm not sure. They could be like monsters who can just smell pets and go out of their way to go assault them. Hmm. Unless I can make some way that that only opens up if that gate is open. But then if somebody steps on the plate and closes the gate after it's already open, then the people would be trapped in the Drunian room. Heck. I, I, wish, I, I wish I knew some method of creating a one-way door or something. How can I make it so that they won't pass in here? I can also fill that tunnel with uh, spikes, maybe. Like spikes that uh, like intermittently have pressure plates that activate them all. <laughs> So that if there's more than one person walking through there, or hell, even one person walking through there, they're going to repeatedly stab. Also, does activating a pressure plate attached to a spike trap make them retract and go up, or does it make them, you know, do a little jab? Oh, and they still don't know how to get to... Do they not know how to get to the lever or to the... To, to, to the, 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 the traps there? To the doors? Because they were able to get to that other lever. Um, but, uh, they got the mechanisms in there. They got a mechanism in there, rather. I don't know. Oh, hey! Oh, darn, possessed. It's still an artifact. Another strange mood. Alright, I guess uh, we need an experiment here. Just uh, somewhere out of the way. Lever. And just a single spike. Because I don't actually know how this works. can make it so that it attacks the person who pulls it. That sounds like a really good trap for gremlins. Just a lever that will fuck up anyone who pulls it. <coughs> a, mecha a mechanics workshop? Excuse me? Whoa, 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 what kind of... What kind of mood takes a mechanics workshop? No... Let me try something real quick. I want to see if I can get infinite, infinite artifact. No. No, 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 no. Do I, if I unforbid the diorite there, is it still part of the task? Or is it just there? I don't know. 
Now, it used to be that uh, if you forbid forbid things that are claimed by a forgotten forgotten mood, no, a, a strange mood, then the guy would go and pick up something else, but the uh, the thing would still be slated for being used for that. Yeah, oh, fuck, I should have kept doing that, because it did work. You, you, you can get virtually infinite things like that. But, a child is depressed. Oh, it's, it's that child down there. He's play. oh, he's playing. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I want to look at why he's melancholy, but uh, irritated wearing old clothing, agitated when utterly sleep deprived, uh, has been overthrown by the stress of day to day living. It doesn't actually show why she's melancholy. <clears throat> I don't know. Too bad we didn't have a hospital. Wait, actually, she's a baby, right? Oh, no, she is a child, so. Oh, well. Oh, now she's gonna move. Now that she's depressed, she's gonna move. Couldn't move to save her life before. No. Now that she's depressed, she's gonna limp off to try to find some place to die. Fucking children. What is rotting here? Wait. Is there anything obvious here? Troglodyte corpse. Are you kidding me? Clear out the goddamn corpse pile. Jesus Christ. Why, why, why aren't any of them ordered to dump anymore? I need you to dump them, please. And the lever still won't work. And these people gotta be used to breathing in miasma at this point. How about the melt orders? How are they? How are they coming along? Um, none or very few. Uh, I don't know. Please melt the anvils. Right now they're just melting human armor. <sighs> Look at all these dogs. I need to do something about this dog problem. Hey! He's done a, a, an artifact mechanism. Let me look at it. Uh, Zegsanad. Tattoo morning. Diorite mechanism. Uh... Oh, actually, it's multiple mechanisms. It's, it's just like a, a bag full of gears. All right, all craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with rectangular diorite cabacons. This object menaces with spikes of diorite. On the item is an image of mountains and diorite. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a very dwarven artifact. Wow. Okay, let me, uh, let me open up the vault. I mean, I'm debating uh, letting the Baroness keep that in her, in, in her castle, there, or court, whatever, but, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta fill up this, this, this vault, this treasure vault. Uh. 
I wonder if anyone's transporting that. Oh, 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 I forgot. I gotta set this to also take from that stockpile. Well, I mean, I don't actually have to, because that one doesn't accept artifacts, so... Whatever, it's better safe than sorry in case something really weird happens. I wonder when dwarves are going to make religious artifacts. Because I'm pretty sure right now humans and stuff uh, create artifacts that are important to their religion. I don't know. Maybe that's in the upcoming version that they do that. I don't know, do they do that now? Eh. I'm getting bored of this fortress, you know? I just want to drop everyone down a pit and create a massive tragedy. You know, just leave a few survivors. Maybe dig deeper. Like, make a... Make a... Make, make a... Make a constructed fortress on the bottom of the magma sea. And this can be, like, some kind of fucking ghost town. Artifact of the past. Forbid everything up here. None are allowed to move the objects of Martyr's Helm. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, if there was less of a labor shortage, I could do that. Uh. Right, uh, Baroness has banned something. Um... What have you been? No coffins. Can't give the humans any coffins. We're gonna need them. To bury all those humans. No, wait, we don't bury humans. We smash them into bits. Why is nobody dumping these corpses? We need these corpses dumped. Hey, the uh, vault has been accessed, so now we can close the gate. Boy, this place is getting a lot bigger than it started, you know? Like, it started with just this room over here. That's neat. I like it. <laughs> I like just the slow, slow wheels of progress turning up in here. Uh. Oh, oh no, it's elf season. Too bad there's no elves here. Uh oh, somebody's pet hen has been found dead. Why? Why did a? I guess maybe it died of old age. Maybe. I mean, it's not like we have any shortage of chickens. Um, hey, another giant rat, dude! We have a mating pair of giant rats. We can mate giant rats now. I want giant rats. Oh, dude, do we still have the female giant rat? Where is it, dude? Give me that giant rat. Oh, come on. I know I have a giant rat. Uh, where's the giant rat? Oh, don't tell me the giant rat died or something. I mean, it's, it's not inconceivable. It was in here, right? Oh, no! Oh, no, my giant rat is dead! Oh, man! Oh, I'm bummed. God damn it. Uh, now I am upset. Finally, I get a male giant rat. Are we? No. No, that's a giant rat, not a large rat. Well, ooh. ooh. Okay. I mean, maybe we can replace it. Re replace the uh, Baroness's uh, giant rat with a... I mean, large rat with a giant rat. Can large rats be giant? No, cave creatures can't be giant. For some reason. Well, unless they're like mundane cave creatures. Darn, I was hoping for just a, a pit full of giant rats. Oh no. Oh 
Alright, uh... For some reason, my crundle is stressed out. Ooh, 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 crundle eggs. Crundle eggs. Uh, don't take those. Uh, what month should I be checking back at them for? Um, schedule. It is currently granite. One, two, three. It will check back in hematite. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, ooh, what do we have here? That capital R. Oh, yeah, that's the giant rat. We got troglodytes, we got hens. Um, more troglodytes, troglodytes, dogs, troglodytes. Reacher! We got a Reacher, dude! Oh, wait, Reachers might be sentient. Oh, we got a Gorlack, too. I just, uh... We need a, we need, we need a, a shallow pit to drop, uh, drop unneeded, uh, attention down. Do you think if I drop the Gorlack in the fortress, it will freak out and attack people, or it will, it will, uh, it will make friends? So that could be interesting. I know the Gorlacks are, uh, friendly, as far as I know. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, gonna make a, a forced, a forced migrant <laughs> pit, um... Uh, here? Maybe? No, that would uh, go down into there. Right here. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Right down into the water here. Oh, fuck. But that's, uh, that's out of the way. Sure, just right there. There. Uh-huh. And it can just have a little snaky tunnel. Reaching over to uh, this place over here. I forget why I have this place doored off. Um, or is that the one that I have behind the door? Yeah, it is. Why? Where does it lead? Um, right, it leads up here into the uh, sand pit slash uh, old water hole. Okay. I mean, is the door locked? No, it's it's open. I don't know why I have it there. What 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 are you uh what are you carrying? Oysters. Okay, I don't care. Where did we get oysters from? Maybe we stole them from the humans. I just don't recall the dwarves bringing me no oysters. Uh, okay. Half an hour. <sighs> By the way, um, if you, if, uh, if you want to hang out tomorrow, I'm going to be uh, maybe doing live stream stuff at like 10 p.m. EST. Uh, I'll make a video about it tomorrow, so. I don't know, I'm getting more nervous about it as time ticks on. Uh, why won't you guys move the corpses? Where are you going with that? Butchering an animal. What? T taking the entire cage with you? Excuse me? What, what, what is in that cage? Um, inventory, zinc cage, the, the large rat. He's taking the entire cage to butcher that large rat. Wait, I thought you can't... I thought you can't butcher animals that died of old age. So if it didn't die of old age, what the fuck happened? Also, will you please dump these corpses? Maybe I need to maybe I need to pull the lever a couple times. And get it get get it unjammed. That might have been too fast. Yeah, that was too fast. Darn it. He pulled the lever right one after the other. I expected it to take a bit. <sighs> now it's jammed. God damn it. Come on. Open up. So that we can dump more things there. There we go. Right, and this is still a dumping ground, yeah? Yeah, it's still a dumping ground. Please, move the corpses. Jesus Christ, come on. 
Oh, finally. Yes, it was too full, apparently. Oh, Jesus Christ. This corpse problem is getting fierce. Also, I think we might have accidentally smashed a dwarf corpse. Whatever. I'm sure he doesn't care. He'll tell us if he cares. Don't worry about it. That ghost is still running around the fortress. I guess not disturbing anyone. It's a good ghost. Probably doesn't even know what happened to him, the poor sod. I said sod because dwarves say sod. What is this dude doing, this kid? He's playing make-believe by the, by the lake. He's making believe that he can go to the surface and that his government is not a, to a totalitarian police state. Ah, kids have such imaginations. Oh, shoot, I need a place to stand next to this, actually, so uh, dig out those two, too. Um, how's this pile doing? Eh, pretty bad, actually. It's only got one miner working on it. Go and, uh, whoop, make that a pit. There we go, and pit pond information. Put the Gorlack down there. Where is the Gorlack? Gorlack, there we go. We'll see if she'll uh, be friends with us. Or not. Um, kennels, uh... Right, right, right. I would have to uh, go into the animal screen to see, um... Can we, uh... War, war training would uh, light up with W, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, the only war trainable things I have are dogs, I believe. Yeah. Can I at least train them for hunting anything that I have caught? Nope. Actually, I think you can train large rats for hunting, but it's too late for that one. Can't uh, Why can't you train large, giant moles for hunting? Also, apparently reachers are sentient. Good to know. That's just another thing to drop down the pit. Pit, uh... Preacher. There we have it. Um, anything else that I, uh, I gotta drop down a pit here? Nope. Nope. And I just confirmed that the uh, pit doors are locked. Uh, lock. There we go. Lock. And uh, no pets allowed. There we go. Also, what does setting a door as internal do? I can't remember. I mean, I guess that's something to look up later, since nobody's probably going to answer me. <laughs> oh. I have struck microcline. Oh, boy. Microcline is the best kind of stone. The joke is that, that many people hate microcline. It looks gross and and garish. All right, uh, where's where's that Gorlack? Anyone taking that Gorlack yet? Escorting that Gorlaku? Where where is it? Um, there's our guest. Where are you at? Uh, boop. She is on her way. Come on, Gorlack. You're going swimming. She's heading up the tunnel. They're reaching the fork soon. Okay, here's the fork. And... Here we go. Let's see if she even survives the impact. Oh, she's stunned. She's fine. She's uh, not even... Oh, she is wounded. She's, uh, she, she's bruised her head. All right, let's see if, uh, if, if she freaks out. No, she's fine. She's fine. She's the, the dwarves are just walking around her. Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? Is she is she gonna go to the tavern? Well, technically, she's going to the tavern. She's not gonna hang out though, of course. Um, well, no, dogs. Dogs don't like her. <laughs> the dogs didn't like her. All right. Well, there's a diplomatic incident for you. Shit. Pro tip.
Don't let Gorlax go around your dogs. They hate each other. <laughs> okay. Well, that was upsetting. She was fine. She was a free woman. She was just tasked with walking out of the fortress. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. I had to go AFK for a bit. Um, I left the game running while I was gone, and it would appear as though the Gorlack has finally met her rightful place in the, the, the corpse stockpile. I forgot what I was talking about prior to this. I don't know. Um, how's the mechanism stockpile? Not even half full, which is a problem. Uh, more mechanisms, please. Mechanisms. Um, 30. And I guess I'm going to set the bar a little bit higher. Don't want to keep it unrealistic to the point where I'm going to have, like, only one dwarf capable of doing it. We're going to set it for, uh, skilled. Yeah. Skilled and... Yeah, I guess skilled, maybe. Alright. Got lots of things rotten all over the place. New demand? Excuse me? Demand? Fine pewter sarcophagus at the di dining. Uh, excuse me. She wants a a pewter sarcophagus in her dining room. What? Wh why? But do we do we don't even have pewter. Hold on. Do we have pewter? Let me just check that before I I go freaking out. Um. We have lay pewter. Hey, fine pewter. Okay, so she meant literally fine pewter, not, not like actual, a actual fine quality. All right, all right. Now this isn't impossible. Just uh, be careful. Fine pewter sarcophagus. Oh Jesus. Um, why you gotta show me just the first two letters? Pipe, sp, sa, sa, just sa, I'll hope that that's a sarcophagus. All right. Can, I wish you could set a profile for just a specific order. Like, if I want that to be a, a high quality thing, I can make it so, but I don't know. Let me just mess with my cords here for a minute. Whatever. <sighs> hey, we're done making the rock pots. How many spare do we have? We have an okay number of spares. Okay. Um, the food stockpile is looking pretty thin. Uh, who has given birth to a girl? In the basement? You keep... That's an odd... Uh, whatever. It doesn't... Doesn't... Doesn't matter. Um... How's that Reacher doing in the corpse pit here? In the, in the death chamber? It would appear that he is either dead or managed to climb out? I don't know. Let's see. Um, pawn grabbers. Got a bunch of troglodytes again. Um, that doesn't look like the Reacher is around. Okay. Okay. I guess he's dead somewhere in there. Maybe he exploded on impact. What is this pool of blood here, by the way? That's human blood. What? Who? What? 
Why do we have human blood here? It's not even dried. We don't even got any humans in here. That's spooky. That's spooky. It must have been a spy. Or maybe we're being haunted by the humans that I mercilessly slaughtered. Still lacking any fruit. Oh, spring. Is that when the surface plants are in bloom? I can't remember. Nope. It's probably like autumn or maybe summer. I don't know. Can I put my military back on duty? I don't feel safe right now. Are these dudes still hanging out in their... No. No, okay. The, 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 the tavern keeper is just... He's worshipping the war goddess. And, yeah, that guy is, in fact, still doing military stuff. Even though he's, he's on vacation. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't really call it vacation. He's just in the civilian sector for right now. Uh... <sighs> How's this pile down here doing? No. Oh, time to dump all that stuff. No, that is the wrong one. That was plants. There we go. Oh, dump all that shit up. Whenever they get to it. The Baroness is still having a hard time dealing with her crippling loneliness because nobody wants to hang out in the palace for some reason. Nobody. They they all just want to go elsewhere. I mean, I could always set her uh, dining hall to be a tavern, but... Uh. Uh. And name her, ca her tavern keeper the butler, maybe? Give her her own personal bard. Dunno. How's that sarcophagus coming? Um, burial receptacle. Let's see. Yeah, she just just wants it hanging around in her, in her dining room, just so that she can remind her enemies that 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 they can be put in there at any time. Maybe it's like an Iron Maiden or something. <laughs> yeah. I honestly have never seen a noble demand something like that before. So that's that's a new one for me. Sorry. Um, uh, the, the, I can't remember what I was saying. I think I was saying something like, uh, maybe it's like an Iron Maiden or something just made of pewter for some reason. Isn't pewter like a kind of ceramic? I don't know. Maybe like the step between ceramics and metal? Fuck. I'm gonna sound really ignorant in saying that. <sighs> I think I'm just about done with Dwarf Fortress for today. You know? Got nothing else to really uh, accomplish. You know, we got our artifact for the day. Got a, got some labor done. Hmm. We're still pumping out llama bone bolts for some reason. Do I even have any hunters? I don't think I actually have any people who are assigned to hunt. I mean, I have a hunter, but I think I took away the hunting profession on him. So I just got a guy pumping out bone bolts at all times for nobody. Uh, maybe I can give, uh, mm, no, I was thinking maybe I could give the uh, military and guards 
hunting as an off-duty thing, but uh, that would require them to get a separate set of equipment which can bug things out. I don't know. Let's just forget about it for now. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, the lever here is constructed, so let's uh, connect it to a spike. Yep, that one, thank you very much. There we go. And uh, once that is done, somebody can pull it. Oh, somebody's doing it already. Good. Very good. We'll see how that works in a sec. Oh. Oh, stretch. Ah. This labor shortage is still fierce. And I don't know what's happening to all the writing materials that I'm making, because, like, I don't see the number of books really increasing that quickly, yet I don't see the number of empty writing materials increasing either. Well, I mean, I guess there are a lot of books here. Um, yeah, a couple pages there. When are you going to start using the other bookshelves I provided? Let's read a book. It is The Mountain Halls. Uh, the Truth About Aspa. All right, let's see the truth about Aspa. I recognize that name. Uh, turkey parchment scroll. It is decorated with giant sperm whale tooth and his sea serpent bone rollers are made of olivine. This object is adorned with hanging rings of, well, ox and bone. Ah, written on the item is an easily is an essay entitled The Truth About Aspa, uh, authored by Udi Rinscrafted. Rin Rinscrafted? Yeah. Right. Con it concerns the former apprenticeship of the human Udi. Oh, that's boring. It's just like a biography of his teacher. He probably just did that so he could get his fucking doctorate. <laughs> uh, Ali, Ali slapped. No, that's a copy against the human. Against the humans? Oh, man. Uh, uh, written on the item is an essay entitled Against the Human, and authored by Thola. Uh, it concerns the marriage of the human... And the hum, it, it what? It it has been produced by a merciful spirit. What? We what? What? What the fuck is this? What is this writing about? About humans getting married, written by a merciful spirit. I hate. I hate it. Is there any like heavy metal books? Got like. Got like the guy fucking regarding the the dwarf who's killed three forgotten beasts, mountain home exposed. Reflections on the human, authored by what concerns the apprenticeship of oh god, god damn it, ah, whatever. What's what's our uh, what's our hermit scholar doing? Pondering foraging behavior, so he's really working on that thesis. Also, all those chicks are still crowding around that dead chicken. Please, take take the corpse away, please. <sighs> okay. Oh, sorry. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it was just AFK for a second, and I gotta end the episode here, as I said. Um... Oh, hey, that goblin, that goblin got, got real drunk. We gotta, gotta send, send the guards after, he's making a public nuisance, let's fucking kill him. We gotta kill him. He's, he, he's, he's make, making a public nuisance, it's, it's illegal for foreigners to do that. Go beat the shit out of him. Take his stuff. D he's running, he knows that he's in trouble. Oh my god. Dude, he's actually, he's hiding from the law. Oh my god. They can't find him. Holy cow. He's a fugitive. 
Oh, here comes the legendary one. Uh-oh. Wading through the pool. Oh, there goes the goblin. Oh, I should have I should have chased him into the vault and then closed it and just had a vault goblin that can never get out. Yeah, get him. The day the water runs red with the blood of criminals. Did he have anything good on him? Oh, not T. Um, P. No, K. K, doofus. Um. He had an instrument. All right. That's good banditing right there. I wonder why people don't come to my fortress. I wonder why. I'm, I'm just hoping that that guy was associated with the humans, which is why I killed him, because there are no goblin civilizations around here, so if I see a goblin, it's definitely a, a human spy. You can't hide behind your evil eyes. Human. Alright, anyway. Go ahead and save it. Yeah. Sorry. And I think that's going to be it for today. Y'all have a good time. It's been almost an hour, not quite an hour. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go eat some breakfast because, uh, as I mentioned, I just woke up. Yeah. I'm going to go kiss the microphone now. That didn't sound like a kiss at all. It sounded like I hit it, right? Yeah, that's how sensitive my microphone is. All right, anyway, bye!